Hi there, I'm Jamie McLean, and as many of you know, I'm the treasurer of the present board, and I'm a previous chair. I've been a member of the Artist Network since 2004, and in 2004, I also said goodbye to my engineering career of 30 plus years. Uh, 30 years spent in design engineering, consulting, construction, plant management, and the like. I had lost my interest and my passion for the field. But in 2004, I also discovered my passion for art and decided I can do this. I just didn't know how. So, enter the Artist Network. I discovered them online and went down, met with March and Russell way back then, and uh, found out they, they were offering exactly what I needed to get started and to be successful. So, off I went. I joined. And uh, Raw 2005 was my first show. And it was great. It was great. I was bagged by the end of the show. And uh, I was pretty unfriendly by the end of the show as well. Because uh, the concept of talking to people nonstop and being nice to people, eh, it wasn't where I came from. <laughs> I, I'm, ni I'm a nicer guy now. Um, so anyways, uh, I, I participated in every Raw since then, so every RAW from 2005 to 23, and I've been a member of the network the same period of time. As I said before, I've served on the board a number of years back, uh, 10, 12 years ago, and I came back to the board a little while ago. And uh, yeah, I, I think the, the network offers a great service, and RAW is a great venue. No other show offers the same level of support for both the artists and the customers, or the collectors. Um, and I've done a lot of shows, so I've got a pretty good reference point. I've, I think I've done about 200 shows in the interim. And, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy the, the meeting of people, the, uh, the little conversations. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, it was all due to RAW and uh, the Artist Network. So, welcome aboard. Hi, I'm Kate Taylor, Chair of the Artist Network. And I wanted to share with you my memories of the Riverdale Art Walk. We're now celebrating our 25th year. Uh, and my first show was in 2009. I had just discovered palette knife work. I had just discovered abstract. And uh, during a session, I did seven paintings. This piece here, called River Number no. 4, even though it was my first piece, um, was one of the first pieces I did and was also part of my submission for the Riverdale Art Walk. So needless to say, when I got the acceptance, I was over the moon exhilarated, followed quickly by terror, because I wasn't really sure that I could, first of all, produce more than the seven pieces I had done, but also wasn't sure how to do an outdoor show, how to do a tent. It was a new industry for me. It was a new experience. So I have to say that the organization was amazing, as it always is, in supporting emerging artists to give them the tools they need to be financially successful, to have a successful show, and to go in and be really prepared um, I think 25 years history shows the real value of the organization. I certainly hope we're going to be around 25 years from now helping artists with the business of art at the level that they want to do it. So anyway, I'm really excited to be part of the Riverdale Art Walk again this year. Hope to be for many, many years and I hope to see you there. Hello all you fantastic Riverdale artists. Jamie McLean was good enough to ask me to uh... Uh, just say a few words, but as most of you know, that's really hard for me to just say a few words. Uh, my name is Gary Smith. I was one of the early, not a founder, but really at the beginning. Uh, March had already registered the organization, and we've had so many people just volunteer and do so much. You know, Russell was looking after us, and Liz was looking after the accounting, and March, and Barbara Lewis, and uh, a lot of people that are still there. I uh, I volunteered to be on the board and it was the best experience for me. I was uh, under, I remember Jamie was the chairman and I was the vice chairman. I was the vice chairman for 13 years, so I was there before Jamie was. But I, I do have to, he asked me to do a couple of things. One, you know, how is, uh, how is belonging to the organization helpful to me in my career? And two, to share any experiences about <laughs> Riverdale Art Walk, which is, uh, I have quite a few. The whole experience has always been good. You know, it's, it's all volunteer. Everybody worked their buns off. And I would say it introduced me to the area when I moved there. 
Uh, it got me into shows. Uh, I learned a lot by being on the board. I'd always uh, recommend that you volunteer and get involved. If you don't, then you get emails and you participate with some events. But we had spectacular events at, like the Mercedes Benz showrooms and, uh, and of course, Riverdale Art Walk. Now, the Riverdale Art Walk, uh, one of my most dramatic experiences there was um, I was too cheap to rent a tent and I borrowed one. It turned out to be one that really didn't have poles. Or I just borrowed any kind of poles I could and tried to tape it up. It was raining. It kind of collapsed. So it was a tent that was started off like this, but it was collapsed like a like a shopping bag or an IKEA blue bag. And uh, everybody had a good laugh. Back then, thank goodness Instagram wasn't around, but if it had been, I'm sure it would have been recorded and everybody would have had a good laugh at my expense. Uh, I, I've participated in many, many shows there and sold a lot of paintings. And in the gallery that we had, you know, on Queen Street, sold a lot of paintings. That was really a great experience. Uh, but it was all the artists, fantastic artists, everybody doing their own thing. And I, I, but I think that the people who volunteered to be on different committees or on the board proper, uh, they got the most out of it. Um, <laughs> another experience I can't help but remember was one day uh, the tent I had was kind of halfway crowded by a big tree in front. So it was kind of behind it and I didn't have enough uh, wall space then to put up my painting. So I put one painting leaning up against the tree. And I was talking like I always do, had a crowd of people and a lady came up with her dog who just, I guess he was bored by the talk and he just walked up and lifted his leg and peed on my painting. And everybody went quiet. And I looked at it and I thought, well, I can wash it off, it was acrylic painting. And the lady said, isn't that cute? So uh, you can have lots of experiences of all, of all kinds at the Riverdale Art Walk. I also enjoyed being the, the judge a couple of times, which was a really good experience. Once you go into uh, judging, you, you tend to look at paintings in a different way and you see so many paintings and so many that are the same that it's a very good experience. Now, what it did for my career, it wasn't necessarily the art walk, but the organization. I started showing more and more. I finally had to uh, withdraw from the board because after 13 years, you know, it was getting uh, time consuming. And I was starting to show in New York and France and Paris a few places. And uh, I was in a show in the Louvre Carousel, which was the beginning really for me in 2013. So uh, I was in a figure drawing competition there as well as the exhibition and won first prize. Done that twice. I go back as a juror uh, drawing nudes. And uh, a, a Chinese agent picked me up. And she's a global, it's called Eureka Global Fine Art all over the world. And uh, with her help, I showed in China a lot and started to become the guest of China. You guys didn't see me anymore after that because every year I was going to China to different places, being hosted. Uh, in China, I guess like everywhere, if you're old, you're sort of invisible. But if you're old and you're standing up there with all these politicians and they're treating you with some kind of like you're special, Everybody thought you're special, and I just went along with it, you know. But it was really, really, those are great experiences up until COVID. And so after COVID, during COVID, I moved to St. John's, Newfoundland. So I miss all you guys, and I wish you well. Have a great Riverdale Art Walk again. It's, uh, it's impressive that it's gone on for quite a while, and all the best to you. Happy 25th anniversary, Riverdale Art Walk. I can't even begin to tell you how important you were to me having a visual art career. You were the very first show that I did in, oh my goodness, 2005. The very first show um, that I did, that I had to uh, apply to a jury and get in. And it was groundbreaking, not only from the experience that I quickly learned, but also it put wind in my sails. It showed me that not only could I maybe do this, but more importantly, people were actually going to pay for my art. And so thank you, because I truly have to say without you and that very first show, where I am today, where I have galleries across Canada, I have my artwork in places all across Canada, both 
and the United States in both corporate and private collections, including some in Europe and some in Australia. It's at my own studio here in Toronto, the shows that I do, the galleries that represent me, it all germinated from that moment at the Riverdale Art Walk. And this in, is actually an example of the type of work that I brought. This was the very first painting that I ever did that I was proud of and I put my name on it, so it's never for sale. It's on my business card still to this day. And that's what I was showing. And it's incredible to me to look at that and then realize that this is what I'm doing now. The germination of this is so clear in this. And uh, I think it's exciting, and so I have put this one in the, the Leslie Grove uh, Art Walk show that we're going to have there at the Leslie Grove Gallery uh, during May. So you can go and take a look at that one there. Before I go, I just want to say one more thing about the Artist Network beyond the Riverdale Art Walk, is that when I was starting out, it just gave me so many resources to be an artist. It taught me so much. It put me in touch with the right people, with fellow artists, with people who had been further down the road than me, and I just learned so much. If you want to be an artist and you're just starting out, without question, join the Artist Network. You will learn so many things that you otherwise will have no access to. It gives you a leg up, it gives you an opportunity, and they too are there to support you. So whether it's the Riverdale Art Walk, or whether it's the Artist Network year-round, this organization is so important to the Toronto artist community. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for the opportunity you gave me way back then, and to this day, the opportunities that you give me, and the resources you offer, and I am always there now for you, should you need me. Happy anniversary, Riverdale Art Walk. Amazing. 25 years. Hi, I'm Susan. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous sunny day. And what that means for me is that it's spring and time to get ready for my now eighth Riverdale Art Walk. I started uh, in 2016 and the learning, the support, the fun that I have had with this group has been unbelievable. It has become my art community and my art home and I couldn't be happier to be part of it. And so congratulations to you Artist Network for 25 years doing the Riddell Art Walk and here's to 25 more. Hi, my name is Gail Williams and I'm an abstract artist and I'm here to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Artist Network and the Riverdale Art Walk. I'm here to tell you why I left and why I came back. In 2005 and 2006, I was in the outdoor art fair at Jimmy Simpson Park. And at that time, I used to do watercolor. I framed them and they had glass, so they were heavy and fragile. I worked full time as in the very busy healthcare field of radiation therapy. I had to borrow a tent and the display units. I had very little help. We had to take our work home with us at the end of the day. In 2005, it rained all weekend and Jimmy Simpson Park was a lake. Very heavy winds and heavy rains. In 2006, it was blazing hot and I broke four pieces of glass and I vowed I would never do another outdoor art fair. So what changed? Well, what had happened was that I had changed my media to acrylic, so I didn't have those heavy frames and the fragile glass. I could rent a tent and it could be assembled for me and display racks. There's overnight storage and there's these angels that come around to give you a break if you want to go and visit some friends at other booths. There's overnight storage and the professional support is bar none the best I've ever seen. They have classes, workshops on everything you could ever need to know about having a successful outdoor art show. It's the second largest outdoor art show in Toronto. And 
but the best thing is the community and all the friendships that I've made with artists and other people over the years. Hi, my name is Angela Lane. I am the outdoor show director for the Riverdale Art Walk. My story with Riverdale Art Walk began many, many years ago. I think it was back in 2011 when I was asked to come in and help organize and manage the Riverdale Art Walk and I've been doing that ever since. It has been a real joy um, getting to know hundreds and hundreds of artists, being part of such a collaborative, wonderful community um, and working with the Artist Network. Um, I really believe it's that that has been able to, that has allowed me to actually spearhead my own art career. Um, it was in 2019 when I hit Encaustic and I knew that um, I fell in love with my medium and I knew that it was time to present myself as a professional fine artist. And I had the background and the resources to help me do that. Um, the Artist Network helps artists with all levels of a career and I really believe it's that that helped me. Since 2019, I have been in probably 50 shows. I have been in a show um, internationally. I have, my, sh my artwork is in um, private and corporate collections across Canada and in Europe. Um, I have gallery representation. Um, so it's been awesome. Uh, the last couple of years has been a whirlwind of activity and um, I don't think I would be able to do that as easily as I did without the work that I've done with the Artist Network and the relationships that I have built. I encourage you to get involved with the Artist Network, become a member, um, join a committee. Um, the more you put into the organization, I really believe you get out of it. Um, so uh, I just wanna say congratulations, Artist Network, on a wonderful 25 years with the Riverdale Art Walk, and here's to many, many more.